Um, I think they're just trying to kind of sneak through and they will speed. More and more, it seems like everyone is in a hurry. There's a lot of problems, not just with speeders just going through, but people trying to bypass that light on a busy day. In a neighborhood with many children and pets or people just taking a stroll, Jolene Day worries those reckless drivers will cause a devastating accident. So we have asked, um, filed complaints and asked to maybe have a speed bump or a stop sign put in. Those complaints did not produce a speed bump or a stop sign. Instead, they're responsible for this box. Well, first when they put it up, they didn't say anything to us about what it was, so it felt a little invasive until I started asking questions. Turns out UPD installed that box to track the speed of every driver going up and down this street. So they're called a stealth stat box. The box produces this spreadsheet with data collected in 15 minute intervals. You can see in this example from 1030 to 1045 AM, 13 cars pass through at an average speed of 21.8 miles per hour. UPD then analyzes those numbers. Is there really a speeding problem in the area? And if so, is it during certain times of the day? And that way we can really have some directed enforcement. Personal information is not collected. They're not going to send you a ticket. There's no recording of a license plate, not even the type of your cars. But that data lets UPD know when to send in traffic enforcement officers. That might really help us be able to allocate resources more effectively. The past few months, our officers have, have seen a lot of speeding. The rise in speeding cases is not slowing down. It is never worth it. This box, if it's for the speed trap, I'm so for it might finally get people to tap their brakes. I hope it makes a difference and it slows them down. In Midvale. Slow down, absolutely slow down. John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.